Welcome to Dave's Diaries in France. This is where I air my views and show you what it's like living in France from my perspective. I will cover do-it-yourself projects and garden management. Just remember, this is just a bit of fun. So let's begin. Ah, good morning, good evening, good night, bonjour, wherever you are in the world. Dave Star is in France. Hope everyone's uh, well. I am. I've had a morning of cooking chili and I think I've just about got it right. I should really be uh, thinking of doing this soup. But anyway, uh, I've got a few things to do today. Uh, namely, I have to replace the bulb in said light up there. So, I have one. Um, so I better get uh, fitting that, hadn't I? So, let's fit it. Right, let's uh, try it out. I think that works. My wife specifically told me yesterday, do not fit it alone, because it involves ladders. What could possibly go wrong? Touch wood, nothing. Apologies if you can see my belly here. It's grown since we got to France. Don't you just love brass fixings? They never go wrong. It's not the strongest of metal, but it never goes wrong. Okay, that's tight. 
Hence weatherproof. Job done. Hello. Uh, just a quick update on the sheet and the uh, holes um, where the old radiator used to be. Um, I've soft filled the holes. Um, I need them to harden up and then I'll go over with a finer uh, filler. But at the moment, the holes are filled. I just need that to harden. And then I've got some substance to um, put some more filler on top. To, you know, to sand it down afterwards and that type of thing. So, that's pretty much done. Um, some of you may have noticed that um, I wear protective glasses a lot. Um, and there is a reason behind that. Uh, the glasses that I'm wearing at the moment are uh, clusters um, protected glasses, um, UV protected as well. And the reason behind that is because uh, I had an operation on my eyes uh, a couple of years ago. Oh God, when was it? 2019? March 2019. One week after the other. I had, uh, so I had um, lenses put in my eyes. Now they're uh, multifocal lenses um, because of the, before the operation I was um, I needed very focals so I, I wore glasses all the time and um, I was getting fed up with wearing glasses uh, and also motorcycling because they tend to steam up if you're on a like a nice rapid ride and you're breathing heavy and it's cold outside you tend to steam up. So, and they were just a pain in the backside, basically. Um, and I hated it. Ever since I had to wear glasses, I hated it. And that's, I blame the IT industry for that. 30 years in front of a console. Doesn't help your eyes. So, um, I, I went in to have my left eye done first on March 2019. Uh, just before the first lockdown in the UK. Uh, so um, I'd gone through the consultancy and everything and, and uh, made sure I was happy with everything. And I was happy with everything. My wife, my wife wasn't, sorry, that's my phone going off because it detected someone on rounds. And um, yeah, so she wasn't happy at all. Um, so I went in, had the left eye done Weird operation. Um, you, you're awake, obviously. They, uh, they um, anaesthetise the eye, and um, then they cut your lens, your own lens, off your face. Off your face. What am I talking about? Off your eye. And um, and then because you're awake, or uh, everything goes grey in the left eye. It's really bizarre. It's just greyness. And then he puts the, the multifocal lens in, the acrylic multifocal lens, into your eye and then uh, covers it up. And that has to knit to your eye, I suppose. Mate to your eye. Uh, so that gets covered up. Um, after a couple of days, you can, you can take, uh, you can open your eye and start to try and focus and things like that. But I found that very, very difficult because I could not, could not, my brain couldn't calibrate it. Um, but the doctor says, everything will be fine. It will be fine. You just, your brain has got to get used to the, the new vision that you're experiencing. And then it will, it will, it will get used to it and you'll, you know, you'll be fine. You won't need glasses ever again. Uh, so a week later, I went in for the other one. And uh, again, the experience, uh, it's, it's painless really. It's just disconcerting when they take your lens off and then suddenly everything goes gray. Um, but the operation went well. And then um, I had that eye covered for a few days. And, uh, and that's when the lockdown started. So a couple of weeks later, um, my eyes, I was getting, slowly getting used to my eyes. I could watch TV and things like that. 
Close up, things were good. Distance-wise, they weren't so good, but that improved over the over time. Um, would I recommend it? If if you really want it, speak to a consultant and check the consultancies out. Um, check the surgeons out. Do your research um, because at the end of the day, your operation your your operation is only as good as the surgeon, basically, and their reputations. And um, fortunately, I, I, I had a fantastic surgeon who had had the same thing done, believe it or not. So, yeah, um, so I've got acrylic lenses on my eyeballs. And that's why I wear protective glasses. Uh, there's only a, uh, a couple of drawbacks. Um, I won't say a couple of drawbacks. The only drawback is you have to wear shades a lot because your natural lens on your eye provides UV protection for your retina and, and your insides of the eye. Uh, these uh, lenses I have now do not. So in the daylight, I really, outside, I have to wear, I would, I would wear, in fact I do, I wear sunglasses or UV, um, UV protection, such as these. And um, yeah, and things have gone really well. Uh, I've just have to be wary that I've got these lenses in, and because you forget, you you just forget that they're in, and um, protect them, and all is good. Nighttime still, uh, it's hit and miss. Uh, and the other the other drawback is if you're tired and you've got tired eyes your vision starts to go blurry, as per normal, any normal person. Um, and you don't rub your eyes like that, you rub them finger, with one finger to outside. And that's it really. Um, some people consider it being vain to have these um, lenses put in. I don't, it was a, a purpose. And I had the money, it's, it's not cheap, I had the money at the time, and I thought, right, it's now or never. And I did it. So there we go. That's something you didn't know about me. Anyway, I'm going to go now. Uh, again, it's another short one today. I've got other things to do, but um, I'm not sure I'm going to film it. So I'll catch you later. Give me a like, subscribe. Uh, 134 subscribers, it's going up every day, love it, absolutely love it. And the over 60s, come on in, you're more than welcome, more than welcome. Over 70s, whatever, doesn't matter to me, so long as you enjoy my content. We can talk about the old days if you want, just let me know in the comments. Anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you, so ta-ta for now.